Maybe he's even got my hat fallen off. What the hell am I doing with this? What's going on guys and welcome back. Bloody Murder came out back in 2000 and was directed by Ralph E. Portillo. And it follows a hockey mask wearing serial killer who stalks teens at a camp. I had to do that for emphasis because this film is definitely a knockoff of Friday the 13th. But guys, take my advice. Watch that film. Don't even bother with this one. Just, just, just don't. I wasn't really sure if I was going to review this movie in the first place, and yet here we are. So with that being said, I had no idea how I was going to do this review. So I'm not going to do the usual negative and positives, because really, there wasn't really that much good about this I could say. The story sucked, it was so cliche, to the point where I thought I was watching a Friday 13th, but a very very bad, poorly designed one. This film reminds me of something that could have come out by someone straight out of film school. And he has a camera just like the one I'm speaking to you through right now. And he has a backyard full of cabins to make it look like a cabin in the woods type scenario. But it was just done so poorly bad. It was just... The characters was terrible. You could tell a lot of these people were starting off. And as far as where they're at today, I don't know. I've never heard of them ever since this movie came out. I kind of wonder why that is. The film stars Jessica Morris in the lead role. She was working on something that was really bad. I hear that she was in a soap opera at the time, so she had to have been somewhat good. But in this film, eh. The woman actually states that she hated this film herself. So... I'm just telling you what I read. But yeah, the dialogue was really cheesy. It just didn't feel like the actors was trying. And like I said, this just looks like something that could have been done by somebody that had no budget, no money for a good cinematographer or anything. The whole movie just looked like it was done by somebody who could just take any camera that you can buy at Walmart for like 100 to 250 bucks and just say, hey, do this, do that. Go here. Go there. And the kills. They were stupid. They were dumb. There were only two kills in this film that I actually kind of enjoyed. They involved an archery scene and something else later on afterward that involved a bow and arrow. The blood in this, it looked fake and there wasn't enough of it. There was one scene where a guy gets his throat slashed and hardly nothing came out. Really? If you slice somebody's throat, that's where all the juggler veins are and everything. I would think that's where you would bleed the most. Just freaking say it. It's like a 10 year old filmed this movie and their parents was there beside them telling them, you can't show that much blood. You can't show that much blood, Junior. Take that out or I'll give you a weapon. But yeah, the archery kills wasn't all that bad. But the rest of the kills and the jump scares, oh God. And just about every slasher has to have a good ending. The ending was so jumbled because of the source material and the way it was filmed. It could have been ex executed a lot better. But they tried. I gotta give that to them. They tried to have executing a good ending that'll make you think and make you go in disbelief. But it just didn't work. The ending could have been a lot better. My final thoughts. Yes, I did not have that much to say about this because... It's just not worth it. Your time might be better spent in a bar fight while having three bouncers toss you out on your ass. So of course, much to my dismay, Bloody Murder gets an F. <laughs> All you all know how much of a sucker I am for a good slasher. I've said it many times in other videos. I love a good slasher. It's got to be executed well though. This just felt like a straight to TV movie. And it might have been a straight to TV movie. I don't know. I was young when I first got a hold of it. And of course, me being a kid, I liked it. But now that I'm older and a reviewer, I really should know better. Even though I'm probably going to review some more movies in the future that a lot of y'all might not agree with. 
This one, I think we can all agree with, though. No. And if you don't know, now you know, you know. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Like, subscribe, get reputized, share. What did you think of this crap load of a movie? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Tell me your honest opinion. You will not get judged. As much as I hated this film, you will not get judged if you say you do. Trust me. Look forward for reviews coming soon. And if you like this, you can click right here and get reputized.